since the release of The Rise of Skywalker in 2019, I was brooding for an affordable Kylo Ren Reforged Element release. I was expecting Asbro to be the first to cross the finish line, but they were left in the dust by a new competitor. Today, we review a Reforged Kylo Ren Element as seen in Episode 9. My name is Dominic aka Lord Doom, and you are watching Star Wars Artifacts. This version is part of the Galactic Archive series, a brand new element series made by Disney. It is the first element with this official mention, but I think the 187th Legion clone element was the first from this series. By the way, I will review this element in the upcoming weeks. As for Kylo's element, it was released during the D23, Disney's official fan club convention. It is sold for 140 US dollars, 190 Canadian dollars, or 110 British pounds. Are you ready? Punch it, Chewie! Since it is the first Galactic Archive series element I review, we will take the time to check out the box. On the front, aside from the picture of the element, we can read Kylo Ren Reforged Element, and below that, it is written with voice changing feature, light, and sound effects. Both sides feature a profile picture of the element, and the different functionalities are explained on the back. If you look closely at the box, you can see some cute little pictograms representing some characters, starships, and logos. Right from the get-go, the element looks way better than the Asbro version released in 2015. However, the first thing that bothers me are the chrome inserts that would have gained to be less shiny with a non-texturized finish. Between the chrome inserts, there are three slots serving as a speaker. In my opinion, I would have preferred if they had been placed here at the dose level. If you remember, the Asbro version came in two separate pieces and the seam was still very obvious even when the element was assembled. It is the same thing that bothers me with the reforged element. It is possible to stretch the element to put it on your head. Because of that, we get a seam that goes from one side of the element to the other. Thankfully, Kylo Ren's helmet is pretty banged up, so the seam is well hidden. That said, it is impossible for Nico and I to have the reforged helmet deep enough to see through the mesh for the eyes. Before we continue our analysis of the helmet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash that like button to help us continue our work. You can also follow us on our main social media at SW Artifacts. When we reach 2000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, two of you will get the chance to win one of those two Legends in Three Dimensions upscale busts offered by Gentle Giant Limited. I am very happy they opted for a mesh instead of a plastic visor for the eyes, as it was the case with the Asbro version. Another good thing is that the battery compartment is hidden inside the helmet, as opposite to the Asbro one that was placed on the top, which made the helmet look a little bit silly. It is also at the bottom of the helmet that you will find the on and off button that will allow you to switch between the two modes. I will give you a little demonstration in a few moments. It is possible to add some padding inside the helmet to make it more comfortable and stable. However, this leaves even less space for your head. As for the size, it is slightly bigger than the one from the Black Series, but 
the difference is not that big. In order to give you a complete comparative experience, here it is next to a 501st Legion approved element made by an independent maker. Here it is one last time between the Azrael element on the left and the 501st on the right. The light effect looks amazing. The LEDs are very bright and they remain visible during broad daylight or in a well-lit room. The stripes are well inserted in the element and I am very satisfied with the way it looks. Now let's talk about the two electronic modes. If we push the button on one side, the element will light up and the voice changer will be activated. Unfortunately, the voice changer is not better than the one included on the Asbro helmets. If we push the button on the other side, the LEDs will only light up when you play the Kylo quotes. Don't fight it. You know you can't. I'm immune to the light. No one will stand in our way. No one. Let the past die. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you are meant to be. That weapon is mine. Such pain in you. Such anger. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Don't be afraid. I'll show you the dark side. The dark side is in our nature. Surrender to it. You need a teacher! I can show you the ways of the Force! For the way I intend to use this Kylo Ren helmet, which is displayed on a shelf, I am very satisfied with my purchase. The way the element looks when the lights are on is absolutely gorgeous. However, if you intend to use it for a cosplay, you better make sure it fits on your head. What do you think of this element? Do you prefer the episodes 7 and 8 version or the one from episode 9? Let me know in the comment section. If you had a great time watching this video, please consider giving us a super thanks. This will allow us to keep continue offering you new content on a regular basis. I'll see you soon for another review, and until then, may the force be with you, always.